10 strange jobs that pay surprisingly well. There are people out there that are paid to mourn the deaths of people they've never even met. They're called professional mourners and they're literally paid to turn up to people's funerals, pretend to know them, talk about how great they were and occasionally burst into tears. The trend originated in China in the Middle East, but it's now spread to the UK and other places and professional mourners are paid around $60 per funeral. Bed tester, now this is my perfect job. Some incredibly lucky people get paid around $28,000 to sleep in different beds every night and then assess how comfy they are. You're probably thinking, yeah right, who the hell would pay someone to sleep in a bed? Well, bed companies need to test their products, and in some cases, bed testers are hired by hotels. Are you good at posing and standing still for long periods of time? If so, I've got just the job for you. You can earn $100 per hour for being a real life mannequin that models clothes on shop floors and in windows. Some companies have figured out that real life mannequins attract interest in crowds. Crowds of people coming to your shop is always a good thing. Well, unless they're rioting, that's not good. A bounty hunter. Now this sounds like an awesome job. Being a bounty hunter is pretty dangerous. They have to track down wanted criminals and people who have skipped bail and then bring them to justice. They do this by researching their subjects using databases and social media. They then determine their last known whereabouts. They stake them out and give them a not so pleasant surprise. These badasses get paid depending on the severity of the crime the criminal committed, or sometimes it's just a flat 10% commission. It was reported that the average salary for a bounty hunter was around $80,000, but in some cases people are making six figure salaries. If you're anything like me and hate shopping, then this job isn't for you. You can get paid anywhere between $25,000 to $100,000 just for being someone's personal shopper. They give customers advice in all areas of fashion, from beauty products and makeup to clothing and accessories. They consider a client's personality, their lifestyle, body shape, hairstyle, preferred colors, skin tone and budget. They then choose a range of products and present them to their client. To be fair, that actually sounds quite hard. Golf courses are often scenic, beautiful places with lakes and ponds. However, those lakes and ponds present a small problem. Over time, golfers fill up these ponds and lakes with golf balls. Not on purpose, just from dodgy shots. The golf course manager then calls in a professional golf ball diver. He turns up, puts on his scuba gear and collects all those balls, whilst earning a yearly salary of around $30,000 to $90,000. Ice cream tester, or the proper title, food scientist, but that doesn't sound as fun. It may sound like a dream job, but I imagine eating ice cream for a living may make you come to hate the stuff. Also, a diet which includes eating ice cream every single day can't be that good for your health. They have to stick to a grueling daily sampling schedule, where they have to assess the flavour, texture, colour, smell and appearance. If they stick the job out for a whole year, ice cream testers can earn between forty dollars to $100,000. After the Titanic accident in 1912, an organisation was set up called the International Ice Patrol. It was set up to help keep waters safe by moving icebergs that are seen as a threat to ships and oil rigs. It's estimated around 40,000 icebergs flow into the North Atlantic every year, and it's the job of an iceberg mover to tie them up and tow them to a safe place. This is an incredibly dangerous job. If the iceberg flips, the boat would be catapulted across the sea or even capsized due to the waves it would cause. Pet food taster. Yep, there are people out there that make a living from eating dog food. I don't blame them really, they have some pretty awesome flavours like beef and gravy and jelly and chicken. No, I'm joking. See, dog palates are different to ours, but a human palate can figure out if the food has good texture and crunch. And a pet food taster can expect to earn up to $77,000 per year. You may have heard of a show called Rich Kids of Instagram, but did you know Instagram is actually making some people rich? For everyday people, it's just an app to show your holiday snaps or what you're about to eat, but others have made it their job and they make thousands per post. It's mostly models or people working in the food or fitness industry. They amass a huge following and then they simply get paid to advertise brands in their photos and descriptions. Some are doing so well they've become e-famous whilst making millions of dollars per year. And that brings this list to an end. I jolly well hope you liked it, and as always, thanks for watching.